the Broken Arrow's work and arming, arming the colonies on the fringe of Geth space. We basically, don't go there. It's a simple fix, ladies and gents. Don't go there. Smithstone's men dug out some kind of alien machine today, like nothing I've ever saw. Called up some of my contacts and found out there's a market for this kind of thing. Looks like some squints over Elanis Risk Control are willing to part with a ton of credits to get their hands on one of those things. Far be it for me to die, they my chance of pay. Uh, Cooper and Jorgensen say they saw the damned alien thing glowing, and hell if I'm going here to prove them wrong. I don't get paid enough to expose myself to weird alien artifacts. I have to admit though, that's an awful pretty sound coming from the back room. Uh, they ain't doing so well, not feeling so good myself either. Stay near the machine, feel better. Uh, not sure if I want to let Elana's folk take it. I think I should stay right here with us. No. Looks to be you, I guess. Way. Do whatever I needed to get done. That was easy enough. So I'll literally just destroy that. Need something. Nice. Have a few minutes to talk? Of course, Shepard. Join me. Still talking to Cole yet? 
Yes. It's still difficult, but he seems less angry. Will you hear my confession, Shepard? I wouldn't talk to you if I didn't want to hear what you have to say. When I married Erika, the Hanar let me leave their service to raise a family, but I had no other skills, so I freelanced. When Erika was killed, I pursued those responsible. Once I'd eliminated them, I had no goal. I accepted the Dantius Commission because I didn't know what else to do. I guess you're lucky we came along when we did. It was an intervention by the gods. I would have died in that penthouse. I would have fulfilled my contract. If Nasana's guards caught me afterwards, it would have been a good death. But someone else was pushing to reach the target, forcing me to move faster, challenging me. I had to reach her first. I had no idea you planned to die in there. It wasn't a plan. My body had accepted its death. My mind had been dead a long time. Your mission gave me purpose, a cause to die for, a chance to atone. I was able to speak to my son again. I can leave my body in peace. You've had a hard life. You deserve some peace. Whatever may happen, my gun is yours. I wanted to check in. I am always happy to talk with you. I'm interested in hearing more about Asari Justicars. We hold a unique place in Asari culture. Justicars are from another era. Young Asari grow up watching vids about our adventures. Pure fiction, of course. Some Asari are uncomfortable with us, but so few Justicars exist that most have never met one. There were only a few Justicars? Few Asari wish to make the sacrifices necessary to become one of us, and the training has a high casualty rate. It is a life of constant danger. Throughout the entire galaxy, there are only a handful of us at any time. Why would anyone want to be a Justicar? It is a deeply personal matter. Sometimes the most brutal path is the only honest one. This code of the Justicar seems central to your life. It is 5,000 sutras and covers every situation one can encounter. I have memorized every word. There is only the code. Sometimes justice calls for mercy. It does not exist to bring about spiritual enlightenment. Its purpose is to punish the wicked and protect the innocent. The Asari I've spoken to seem conflicted about Justicars. In this age, people see shades of gray everywhere. The code of the Justicar is black and white. I might seem a hero to many, but I would kill all of them if I had to. What role do you think Justicars have in Asari society? I would say that the closest human equivalent is a knight errant in your medieval lore. Perhaps mixed with a bit of samurai. You know about knights errant and samurai? When I knew I must leave Asari space again, I studied the history and morals of new species. When I was a maiden wandering the galaxy, humans had not yet arrived. What did your studies tell you about us? You are more individualistic than any other species I have encountered. If three humans are in a room, there will be six opinions. I like your species. I am curious to see what you will do. What does your code say about killing? I am compelled to kill the wicked. If a Justicar is involved, peaceful solutions are long past. You make killing sound so casual. I remember each being I have slain. They are always in my thoughts. Does the code forbid romantic involvement? It does not. However, I would never be interested in such. That part of my life is well behind me. I should go. I'm glad we spoke. Just checking in. How you doing? I'm branching out. Got a list of enemies now. They all give me joy when I picture cutting them, crushing them. There's this one imprint, a Solarian with the, what are they, the, the things on his head pulled apart? Bet it caused a generation of revenge. What is that, a few?
few weeks for them. So what did you want? Don't wear yourself out on someone else's memories. We've got our own bad guys to fight. Your enemies are my enemies. We'll shove the Collector's Claws where a dark sun can't shine. And they will deserve it. I won't disrespect their strengths by doing less than the worst of them. That's the kind of thinking that will save a galaxy. You make it possible, Shepard. You're my battle master. You give me purpose. That's what makes Krogan feared soldiers and not animals. Lead well, Shepard. You have my respect. Hey. Talk to me, Jack. I got nothing to say. You act interested, but you got other things going. So don't pretend you coming down here is special. You make a lot of stops. Is this about Tally? I don't care where you play, but don't act like I'm precious if this is just killing time for you. I'm not ready to break it off. Then why the hell are you talking to me? Get the fuck out of here! Shepard, what can I do for you? Have you got time to talk? For you? Of course. I can't tell you how much what you said means to me. But I understand if you need to find something, someone else. Not that I'm complaining if you're still interested. Um, are you still interested? I don't want to risk your health. But I'm willing to wait. Thank you. I want you to see what's under this damn helmet. I need to feel your skin against mine. To share myself with you before we fly off into the final battle. I'll find a way. What's with all the chop, Joker? Doing my best. The wind's gusting to 500 kph. But there's a second ship alongside the Reaper. It's not transmitting any IFF, but the LADAR paints its silhouette as Geth. I guess we know why the science team stopped reporting in. What just happened? The Reaper's Mass Effect fields are still active. We just passed inside their envelope. Eye of the hurricane, huh? Change weapon! Change weapons. Looks like I'm going to save it because, yeah. Uh, we noticed a lot of stars and it's uh, it crashed over twice yesterday as well. To welcome us. That's not good. Genuinely. Genuinely, it's not good. Doesn't mean it's bad. We'll start at full range, nice. Mm. Well, maybe we'd afford maybe one or two upgrades. What just happened? The Reaper put up kinetic barriers. I don't think we can get through from our side. As curious as I am about the Reapers, I'd rather not be trapped inside one. 
We'll have to take down the barrier generators from in here. Any idea where they are? At the moment of activation, I detected a heat spike in what is likely the Rex Mass Effect core, sending the coordinates now. Be advised, this core is also maintaining the Reaper's altitude. So when we take the barriers down to escape, the wreck falls into the planet core. And that means everyone dies. Yeah, I got it. If any helmsman can pull us off this thing before it reaches crush depth, it's you. We'll make a sweep for survivors and recover what data we can. Stand by. Aye, aye. Good hunting. Lots of dead people. Nothing new there. You're married? You never mentioned that. Katie had anger management issues. When my brother got married, the best man tried to hit on her. She kicked him down the church steps. Uh, what? Katie's my wife. I, I must have told you this story. No, I know my wife. I remember that day was the only time I saw her wear stockings. Yeah, the, the kind with seams up the back. That's what I remember, too. What the hell is this? How can we remember the same thing? This thing was screwing with him. Trouble is coming. Oh, no. Hey. I'll kill you all one down. And <laughs> the best of all, him again. Watch where you're shooting. Can you walk close and personal? Not shocking. I mean, but when you're not there, it's a worse thing. I mean, I just leave for it. In fact, it's how quickly it spawns back. It's how quick it spawns back. It's just. Maybe I can play it now. Third day with this headache. You'd think Chandana would have let me have a few hours off. God damn! What? The thing, that just grey thing. It disappeared when I looked straight at it. Came out of the damn wall. Where we took off that panel. I didn't see anything. You should lie down. I'm telling you, the ship isn't dead. It knows we're inside it. Calm down. Oh, so that's a shocker. Oh, a sniper. Nice one. Well, I think I'll change to a sniper right now. I, I do forget that she has that. But I have to make sure they have kinetic barriers. That's fine. You know what I should name now? Use your abilities at any time, you know that, right? You don't have to wait. I think I'm the medic, so I can get the handling, because it's going to be we're going to get swarmed at some point. Really are. We've seen these before, Shepard. Dragon's teeth, your people call them. The Geth used them on Eden Prime. See how the room is arranged? They treated this thing like some kind of altar. That doesn't seem right. No one in their right mind would want this. You heard the logs. They were seeing things, hearing things. They were being indoctrinated. We can't help these people now. But we won't let the machines use their corpses like this. So, what we're going to do? Cut them down. I don't think we can do that. 
Five days. Okay. 
I'm just saying. Can I go in front of anyone now? Okay, that power sounds like a real shot. I'm going to assume. I guess I should use all of them. Just credits. Just stop going. Yeah, I'm going to go in front of anyone now. Okay, Okay, I'm just gonna use my potions now. Seems like everybody really wants to use. Oh, come on, man. You know that game, fucking joking. Get to the point, I just get fucking money, bro. Hey, Shepard, grab the gas, too. 
Gotta be worth something. Leave it there. You know what they are. If it gets into Normandy's computers. You said it yourself. No one's ever found one intact. That's true, but I'm not sure it's worth the risk, Shepard. There's no time to debate it, Tally. Come on. Hang on, folks. Open the port side airlock. Sixth Reaper IFS successfully retrieved loss of Severus team on the Reaper vessel. Unfortunate but unsurprising. We'll use team's health records for comparison against Hux encountered on Reaper for possible insight into induction and husk conversion process. Well, I'm going to be honest with you. Unique piece of salvage we recovered. For now, we've stored it in Edie's AI core. We need better equipment to fight the Reapers. An intact Geth would be invaluable to Cerberus's cyber weapons division. We'll have to disagree on that, ma'am. I saw enough of these things I need in Prime. Space it. Cerberus has a long-standing cash bounty for an intact Geth. I assure you, the reward is significant. I want to know why it has a piece of N7 armor strapped to its chest. Battle trophy, maybe? Would a machine care about that? No. Trophies imply emotions that AIs don't have. I doubt it's more than a convenient field repair. I've killed hundreds of these things, but I've never had a chance to talk to one. This one tried to communicate with us. Hell, it probably saved our lives. Why? Reactivating the Geth is a risk. If you do so, it should be for humanity's best interests, and not your curiosity. I still think our best interests involve an airlock. I'm not deciding one way or the other until I know what we've got here. I want to start it up. Interrogate it. If we activate it, there is no guarantee we can deactivate it again. Bullets can. That's not what I... Thank you, both of you, for your recommendations. I've made my decision. Tally's gonna freak when she hears about this. So what about this Reaper IFF? I have determined how to integrate it with our systems. However, the device is Reaper technology. Linking it with the Normandy systems poses certain risks. I trust you, Edie. I know you won't let anything happen to the ship. Understood, Shepard. It may take several hours before the IFF is ready for shakedown. I will alert you as soon as it is ready. Sounds good. Until then, it's business as usual. Crew dismissed. What's up? Uh, I'm pleased that you were able to recover the IFF and I've sent EDI all the necessary protocols to get it integrated successfully in the Normandy system. With luck, this will give us the ability to get through the Omega 4 relay and take the fight to the collectors on our own terms. I've been notified about the intact GEF on your decision to keep it. If you believe that it could be trusted, then go ahead and activate it. Just make sure your EDI is ad adequately protected against any hacking attempts. It's not necessarily the decision I would have made, Shepard, but it's, this is your call. You've already cast a wide net on your recruitment efforts, and if the Geff are willing to fight the Collectors, then we can use them on the team. I trust you to get the job done. Whatever it takes. Well, 